graduates, please be seated. Good morning and welcome to this year's graduation ceremony. My name is Dr. Jessica Bidding and I have the honor of being the principal here at Widefield High School. In a moment, I will ask you to please stand and remain standing for the presentation of the colors by our Navy Junior ROTC and the performance of the Star Spangled Banner conducted by Vincent Walker, followed by a performance of our alma mater conducted by Emily Cassidy, Orchestra Council President. At this time, please stand for the presentation of colors by our NJROT. Please be seated.
Can we give a huge round of applause to our NJROTC and our performing arts students? Good morning again. I'd like to welcome all graduates, family, friends, staff, and distinguished guests to the 64th Widefield High School graduation ceremony. It is a foggy, yet still amazing day for the class of 2023. And graduates, it is your day. Enjoy it. You have worked very hard to get here, and today is the day where you arrived as high school students and will leave as graduates, ready to take on the world as adults. We, your family and friends, teachers and staff, could not be more honored to be part of your commencement ceremony. As we are all gathered to enjoy our individual students' accomplishments, I would at this time like to remind everyone of the dignity and formality of this event. Please refrain from all noisemakers, air horns, and keep in mind that every student and family member is here in order to witness and hear their name being read. Please celebrate your child's accomplishments, but leave room for others to celebrate theirs. As I undoubtedly know you are recording these events and moments through picture or video, we would like everyone to have the same shared opportunity to record and remember this moment for their graduate. Thank you for being here for the commencement of this year's graduating class. I would now like to introduce Michaela Fitzpatrick, Vice President of the National Honor Society for her welcoming remarks. Michaela is the daughter of Michael and Shauna Fitzpatrick. She has been a Widefield student her entire life from Venatucci to Watson and now Widefield High School. She's an outstanding student and leader who has shared her talents through student cabinet, link crew, softball, and as a district lifeguard. After graduating, Michaela is planning to pursue her real estate license. Ladies and gentlemen, Michaela Fitzpatrick. Good morning, everyone. I'm Michaela Fitzpatrick, and I want to welcome all of our supportive parents, family members, teachers, staff, and board members to this momentous occasion. I also want to give a very special welcome to the graduating class of 2023. A very important person in my life once told me, you can have all the people in the world believing in you, but it means nothing if you don't believe in yourself. Thanks to my coach, Nick Leonard, this phrase has stuck with me throughout every obstacle life has thrown at me. While all of us have experienced different challenges and obstacles in our lives, we have all accomplished a common goal. We believed in ourselves enough to finish this chapter of our lives, no matter how different each one of our paths may have been. Be proud of yourselves for showing the strength to endure and see through these last four chaotic years and know that it was your hard work, perseverance, and belief in self that got you to this day. Leonard, you're the best, and I will be forever grateful to have had you as my coach. I'm sure all of you have been counting down the days, as have I, and now that the time has finally come, it is truly a surreal feeling. Here we are, dressed in our caps and gowns, waiting to walk across this stage. There are so many emotions we all must be feeling. Some of us may be feeling sadness, joy, anticipation, excitement, or maybe even fear. A fear of leaving what has been familiar to us for so long, year after year. As long as I've been waiting for this day to come, it is safe to say I've also been dreading it dreading to leave the place where I've made unforgettable memories and had incredible experiences. For these, I will forever be grateful. I want to thank my parents who have supported me throughout my entire life. And thank you to my teachers, friends, classmates, and coaches who have all taught me to cherish the moments we have left, but also to value what is to come. We are on to the next chapter and I congratulate every single one of you. And in the words of Elle Woods, we did it. Thank you, Ms. Fitzpatrick. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce the following distinguished guests that we have here on our stage this morning. If you would please wave as I call your name. Mr. Carlos Gonzalez, school board president. Mr. Gregory Fisher, School Board Vice President. 
Mr. David Doc, school board treasurer. Mrs. Donna Walsh, school board member. Mr. Neil Nelson, school board member. Mr. Kevin Duran, superintendent. Mr. Kirk Sateka, assistant superintendent. Mr. Aaron Hoffman, executive directory of secondary learning. Mrs. Brooke Felice, assistant principal. And Mr. Sam Baldwin, assistant principal. I'd also like to acknowledge the contributions of the two other members of the Widefield High School administrative team who are out on the floor assisting with our graduates, Mr. John Schub, athletic director, and Mr. John Clark, dean of students. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge our honored teachers here in the tents with us this morning. We will get to you guys a little bit later in the ceremony. And finally, to all of our faculty and staff in attendance this morning, what all of our Widefield high, high School faculty and staff sitting behind our students or in the stands, please stand to be recognized at this time. As leaders of the building, we design opportunities for student leaders to emerge and take on many responsibilities in the leadership of Widefield High School. One such leader has done a tremendous job throughout her career at Widefield High School and dis distinguished herself as a leader of the school with a relentless commitment to Widefield High School. She's demonstrated her leadership in athletics, the classroom, and through student cabinet. It is my pleasure and honor to introduce Ms. Cambria Carmody, daughter of Suzanne and Sean Carmody, to deliver the student body president speech. Before I get started, I would like to take a picture so that I can remember today. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> So, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Cami Carmody, and I have had the pleasure of being your student body president. Gravity is defined as the force that attracts the body towards the center of the earth or any other body having mass. Since you were born, you were designed to be drawn towards something. As you grew, that stayed the same, but you started to be pulled in a few different directions. When you started to create friendships, you were pulled toward different types of people. After you started school, you got pulled towards your favorite subjects. After you got a bit older, your hobbies and interests started pulling you towards them. Our entire lives, we have been wired to be pulled towards something. Gravity was the first thing to ground us all, and now it is the people, places, and things that ground us. I'd like to give you a bit of insight on my own gravity. I would like to start with my love of sports. Occasionally, when an asteroid is orbiting Earth, it gets pulled into our circle by Earth's orbit. That is what happened with sports. I got pulled in with no choice but is one of the greatest things that could have happened to me. It has given me different connections that I could not have without it. I see sports as my biggest gravity. It pulls me the most. It keeps me happy when I've had a rough week and has given me my strongest relationships and has taught me to be a stronger individual. My second gravity is my relationships, primarily with my family. They have always been my biggest supporters and have shaped me into where I am now, talking about gravity. My final gravity is a quote that has followed me for a lot of my life. This quote goes, always remember that you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. This quote came into my life at a really rough, rough time, and I think about these words every day. They help me keep pursuing what I would like to do in life and keep my positive going, positivity going. These are my three greatest gravities, and now I would like to take a look into yours. Take a second. Think about your best friends, your mentors and family, and your interests. Through all of our lives, these people, places, and things have shaped us and kept us grounded up until this point. Over the next few years, some of these things may change, but these new experiences will keep you grounded on your own path directed by gravity. You have to trust gravity. It will keep you on the correct path when things feel wrong. I ask you to trust your own gravity. It has not failed you yet, so keep your gravity in mind. Before I finish, I would like to thank some people who have contributed to my gravity. My first person I would like to contribute is my parents, mom and dad. Thank you for teaching me to be the person I am right now. 
I love you guys. My sister, thank you for always being my biggest role model and always having my back. My friends, thank you for supporting me and having my back these past four years. And finally, my teachers, I would like to thank you all. I would not be here without you. I would specifically like to thank Ms. Everwine, Ms. Franklin, and Ms. Tuji, who have helped me grow in more ways than one. Thank you. I would now like to recognize our honored teachers and staff that are sitting here with us this morning. The following staff members were voted on by the class of 2023 as being the most influential and having a lasting impression on this year's graduating class. Teachers, please stand as I read your name to be acknowledged. You will also find a small gift underneath your seat. From Whitefield High School, Ms. Suzanne Carmody. From Sproul Junior High School, Mr. Jonathan Ferris. From Watson Junior High School, Ms. Sarah Dombrowski. From French Elementary School, Ms. Lee Graber. From Pinello Elementary School, Ms. Camille Bowers. From Sunrise Elementary School, Ms. Jenny Kofed. From Talbot Steam Innovation School, Ms. Jennifer Dombrowski. From Venatucci Elementary School, Ms. Donna Shavak. From Webster Elementary School, Ms. Beth Neal. From Widefield Elementary School of the Arts, Ms. Karen Nelson. From Grand Mountain School, Mr. John Iwanski. Thank you all for what you have done for the class of 2023. But most of all, thank you for all of the lucky students who have, you have come in contact with over the years. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Carmody, and thank you for your leadership of the Widefield High School student body. At this time, would all music students please report to the choir and instrumental area. As the class of 2023 says goodbye to Widefield High School, they would also like to honor staff members who are retiring. We have two staff members that have made a significant difference in all of our students' lives this year and have also positively impacted the Widefield community in many ways over their numerous years. First is Mrs. Susan Wickberg, please stand. Mrs. Wickberg is an English teacher at Widefield High School who has given 25 years of service to Widefield School District. Also is Mr. Rex Sickmiller, who is unable to be here today. He is a math teacher who has given us 23 years of service in the Widefield School District. Best of luck in your retirement. You will be very missed. Throughout Widefield's illustrious 64 years, this community has seen many different faces pass through the hallways and across this stage. The things that have stayed consistent with Widefield over many years are the strong traditions and ties to the military in our community. It is no small thing to say that we are who we are because of the men and women who continue to shape and mold our climate and culture, as well as fight for our freedoms. At this time, I would like to take the opportunity to play honor and tribute to the men and women of our armed forces and recognize those who have served in any branch of the U.S. military. Would anyone who has served in any branch of the military please stand and allow us to honor you and your service to our community and to our country. Thank you so much for your service and dedication. You may be seated. At this time, the combined Whitefield High School Music Department will present a tribute to the armed services. The tribute will be conducted by our orchestra teacher, Mrs. Miller, and led by our choir teacher, Mrs. McDermott. If you have served as a member of the branches being recognized in the tribute, please stand when your branch is called by our music staff.
thank you. And once again, great job to our combined music department. It is now my privilege to move into the academic recognition of this year's ceremony and introduce the salutatorian and valedictorian for the class of 2023. I am extremely proud of both of these students as they have demonstrated an outstanding ability and aptitude in the classroom and out. First, I'd like to introduce the class of 2023 salutatorian, Ms. Abby Sateka. Abby is the daughter of Kirk and Tracy Sateka. She is graduating with an amazing cumulative GPA of 4.537 and is a model gladiator in and out of the classroom. She's taken 20 AP and honors classes during her tenure at Widefield High School, and she has excelled in all of them. In addition to demonstrating her drive and commitment in the classroom, she has also done so on the fields and courts of Widefield High School, excelling in track, softball, and basketball. She's been a leader and achieved accolades in numerous student organizations, including HOSA and Forensics. And to top off her achievements, Abby is also the recipient of the prestigious Betcher Scholarship. She is a fabulous young woman with a tremendously bright future. This fall, she will be attending CU Boulder. Abby will now present her salutatorian speech. Did you know that there are over 7,000 types of apples in the world? Much like us as high school students, it's easy for each individual apple to blend in with the bunch. I mean, we're labeled as the TikTok and hot Cheeto generation, stuck to our cell phones and privileged because we didn't have to walk uphill to school both ways, even though we did have to walk through a literal lake last week. But you know what? Today is our graduation, and I want to talk about how our lives, our own little apples, means so much more than what others have defined us as. Oh, I am sure that we can all confidently say that we've had at least one identity crisis during high school. More than figuring out who we were on the inside, there was a whole lot of struggling figuring out who, how we wanted others to see us on the outside. And no, no matter how, much, how many times we were told to be ourselves, knowing who we were amidst a sea of trends was nearly impossible. As we become surrounded by new people, do not let others judge the skin of your apple, but rather make your apple so undeniably you that it defines your own skin. The sweet spots of the apple are the moments we live for. Whether it be uncontrollably laughing with your friends about something that probably wasn't even that funny to begin with, or getting to see something so beautiful that words alone simply cannot describe it, the sweet spots of our apples reserve an important place within us. Today is one of those sweet spots. But as we move on, and when there isn't an event like this to look forward to, I hope that you never stop searching for and never stop cherishing the sweet spots that you find because they are what make your life special. Amidst this big moment, we are celebrating years of having fun at football games, passing our classes, and growing close with our friends. But we are also celebrating the end of tests we failed, fights with our parents, and all of the stupid mistakes we've made up until this point. Of course, we've heard the phrase, Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you deal with it. But when we are in our worst moments, at our lowest points, and it feels as though we are unbelievably alone in this world, fighting the bruises of our apple, this idea that we have control over our situation seems absolutely ridiculous. And I've been there. I lost my mom right before going into high school. For me, dealing with it was suppressing my pain, accepting that I didn't understand style or braiding hair, and finding conflict to drown my emotions in. Yet, I am so beyond grateful to have had people in my life to ensure that this bruise, no matter how deep or dark it got, didn't spread to my core and make my whole apple, my whole life, go bad. Whitefield has also been there for you these last four years. When you look back at your time here, there were undoubtedly people looking out for you too. And even after today, it's good to know that we don't have to fight our bruises alone. We all have had a stem connecting us to the nutrients needed to grow as people and in our own ways. Without a parent, a sibling, a grandparent, your best friend, your own perseverance, or the community around you, uh, you would not be here today. To my own stem, thank you, John, for modeling for me what living your passion means, for Ryan, for being the biggest menace, but also my closest confidant, Dad, for taking on the role of two and never failing to support me in all that I do, and Mom, for showing me what real strength is. Don't get me wrong, every apple probably has some insane story how I battled storms and worms and chemistry tests, but somehow, some way, it managed to grow. 
when you look around this stadium and see your own stems, I want you to remember what all they have done for you. Now, reminisce for a moment on your time coloring the alphabet in kindergarten, competing for participation ribbons in elementary field day, and annoying your parents during the recorder season of, of music class. Most of all, I want you to remember how excited you were to be big and grown. Even though it means paying for your gas and, take, and writing essays, you are now living the life that your six-year-old self looked up to. A few hundred feet from where we have gone to school every day, there are hundreds of little kids wishing to be more like you and seeing the life you are living as the epitome of awesomeness. While we may not be an astronaut or able to be a cure cancer right now, although by the looks of it, Demetrius may just be the person to do it, uh, <laughs> we must hold on to the seeds of our apples. They serve as reminders of our wildest ambitions and craziest ideas. Those seeds keep us rooted through every sweet spot and every bruise in life, and they are the little things that you should never truly lose. So I urge you, more than anything else today, to live for your six-year-old self and hold every part of this apple, every part of your life, close. Thank you. Okay, sorry. Thank you, Abby. It is now my privilege to introduce the class of 2023 valedictorian, Mr. Demetrius Brown. Demetrius is the son of Felicia and Brandon Brown. He is graduating with an impressive cumulative GPA of 4.538 and is a model of leadership, academics, and citizenship. He has excelled both in and out of the classroom, and over the past four years at Widefield High School, he has been involved with football and track while pursuing 17 AP and Honors classes. He has demonstrated his commitment to leading his peers through his roles as president of both the National Honor Society and the senior class. Just last week, he was honored as the Pikes Peak Rotary Football Medallion winner. This young man has demonstrated dedication and commitment to excellence in all that he does. This fall, Demetrius will head off to Stanford University. Demetrius will now present his valedictorian speech. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Good morning, family, friends, and fellow graduates. Before I get started, I would like to thank all the people who helped, me get, who helped get me here, whether it be coaches, friends, or teachers. I have met such an amazing and wonderful, diverse group of people that have changed my life for the better. I would like to hand a special thank you to my parents and the rest of my family. I would be nothing without their love and support. They have shown me to take pride in my heritage and build resilience within myself. Now, time to address the graduates. Well. It's over, and I think we can all say it has been a great last year of high school, right? Nice and easy. Yeah, no, that's a complete lie. What it has really been is a year of ups and downs, a year full of greats and full of, eh, a year where that it is what it is. Attitude maybe started to crumble a little bit. Whether you were injured during a sport or your mans broke up with you or you decided to take AP chemistry for some reason, it's safe to say that this year has definitely been something. But calling it great and calling it easy without recognizing the fact that it wasn't always that undermines and ignores an important foundation of our wonderful community and the cornerstone idea of our class, hard work. While hard work may seem like a generic trait that every class has because they're the greatest, I personally believe that no other group of people except for this amazing class embodies the idea of working and putting in time to achieve goals that people believe are out of our reach. And I'm going to be blunt about this. A lot of people look down on Widefield look down on us, whether it be because we are poor or because they believe we are incompetent. And my response to that is to tell them to look at this class. Our year wasn't easy and our year wasn't perfect, but that is what makes it memorable. And that is what speaks volumes about the resolve and drive of this community. Widefield has always been a more community oriented area and it is our community that is the heart and soul of our class. As some of us journey beyond Widefield, or even Colorado in our near futures, 
I cannot advise any of you enough to take these values nurtured within you by our community and carry them with you as you grow as a person. Because understanding these values and honoring them is what it means to be human. So I ask all of you to look back at these high school experiences that help define who you are and to look at them holistically. What were your mistakes? What were your darker moments? When were you broken, beat down, or discouraged? When was your back against the wall? Because I'll tell you right now that as I look back to, there was a lot of those moments in my life. Now, I want you to look around. This ceremony, this accomplishment embodies the indisputable fact that you have all broken through these obstacles and have grown as a person. And that should come as no surprise to any of you because that is our standard as a class. We have helped change the culture of Widefield and we have sparked a new beginning for our community. Each and every one of you are a role model in some fashion. Carry the idea with pride in your heart and hold it in your spirit to maintain this excellence of character because this excellence isn't just a standard of our class, but the culture of our community. And I have no question that no matter what any of you do, whether it be entering the workforce, the military, being an artist or an athlete or our future medical leaders, that you will bring a new brightness and intellectual vitality to that field because that is what we do. Being familiar with a place like Pine Ridge Reservation, where I grew up, I know the world will try to break you down and build you up in its image. Don't let it. The world needs each and every one of you for your unique perspective and personality. You all have so much to offer. So as you go off and change the world, walk into the chaos with confidence. Embrace your humanity. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Hold those community values close to your heart and let everyone know that you are a proud product of the Widefield High School class of 2023. Thank you. Very nice. That was great. Thank you, Demetrius. It is now my pleasure to, this, to introduce this year's commencement speaker, Mr. Malcolm Miller. Mr. Miller... Mr. Miller was selected by the class of 2023 to give this address and is a graduate of Widefield High School who attended Widefield schools from kindergarten through high school. He began his Widefield educational career at Venatucci, then Watson, before graduating from Widefield High School in 2008. He was an accomplished track and field athlete that hooked home four varsity letters. Mr. Miller attended the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, where he earned his degree in psychology. Mr. Miller joined the faculty of Widefield High School in 2021 and teaches social studies while also supporting our students as a coach of both track and field as well as basketball. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Malcolm Miller. Wow. Wow. Good morning, everyone. Hold on, y'all know who I am. Come on now, y'all know who I am. And for those who don't, I'm a Southern boy from Tennessee, so when I say good morning, I need to hear something back. So good morning, everyone. Morning. There we go. I know it's a little chilly, but it's graduation. You should be having a good time. You should be feeling great. My name is Malcolm Miller. I teach U.S. history, world history, and African-American history here at Wyfield High School. And uh, currently finishing up my second year, but while it's only been my second year as a teacher. My feet have been planted here for a long time. Uh, I've just finished up my fourth year coaching girls basketball here alongside Coach Jeff Giovanone, who is our head varsity coach. And for the last nine years, I've served as an assistant coach for our track and field program under head coach, Coach Fred Majerison. I first would like to acknowledge our staff led by our administrative team, as well as our distinguished guests, district school board members, and alumni here with us today. I would like to also thank my family who are here in attendance, my younger brother Mitchell. My father, Zira, could not make it today as he is running his nonprofit, New Direction Agape Services, and is currently passing out food to families in need as he's been doing every Saturday morning since the beginning of the pandemic. And my mother, Candace, who is finally getting to live her dream of seeing one of her children speak at graduation. <laughs> now, it's happening about 15 years later, but dreams do indeed come true. 
To the parents who are here in the audience watching your children get ready to cross this big milestone of high school graduation, I thank you all for raising such phenomenal young people whom I've had the opportunity to teach and coach. Without your guidance, I don't get to have the job that I have, and I'm truly thankful to have the job that I have. And last but not least, to the graduating class of 2023. When Dr. Bidden came into the classroom at the end of last month to inform me that I was selected by you all to give this speech, I was speechless, which for any of my students or anybody who really knows me knows that is incredibly hard to do. But for what I could not express verbally, I could identify every single emotion and every single thought. Emotions such as gratitude and humility were the first ones, and the thoughts of what am I going to say and why in the world would these students want to hear from me came shortly after. This was around the time that Dr. Bidding informed me of how well Ms. McDermott did last year, but there's no pressure there. I figured if I could be half the teacher that she is, I should be okay. And now that I'm standing here, looking at all of you, knowing that you guys decided to include me in your moment, someone said surreal was a feeling. And this is definitely surreal. I'm truly humbled, I'm truly honored. I do not take this for granted. And all I can really say to you all is thank you. To tell you all a little bit about myself, I was born January 2nd, 1990 in Clarksville, Tennessee, to Zira and Candace Miller, two U.S. Army retired veterans. And uh, we were stationed in Fort Carson in 1994. And after the birth of my brother in 1995 and his heart transplant in 1996, I officially became a wide field kid. I am a Mustang that went to Venetucci Elementary. I'm a Wolverine that went to Watson Junior High. And in 2008, I stood in Bowers Gym, walked across the stage as a member of the graduating class of 2008 at Wyfield High School. In my time, I was a four-year varsity letter winner in the sport of track and field. I ran the 100, 200, four by one, four by two. And I helped contribute to winning the 2007 4A Colorado Springs Metro League Championship my junior year. It was our first conference title since 1996 under head coach Fred Majerison, and the first of what would be 10 since, with the last one coming this past year when our girls program won our second consecutive conference championship. If any of those girls are here today, I would like you all to stand, because I definitely have some graduates here as well. So will, that, will, will you guys please stand and get your, yes, you deserve it. You absolutely deserve it. To put it in context, they are the fifth conference championship team in school history, and a few of them have competed at the state track meet this past weekend. And after my high school career was done, I received the opportunity to run at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, a small historically black college and university in southeastern Arkansas, where I would compete for four years, running the 100, the 200, the 4x1, and whenever a coach was mad at me, the 4x4 relay, which was every single week before I eventually graduated with a bachelor's degree in psychology in the spring of 2014, before coming home for what was supposed to be a two-week vacation that will be going on nine years in November. Now, I currently serve as an educator here at Wyfield High School, something that my mom told me I would do when I was 13, which I would look at her and say, I don't know if you know the grades that I've been bringing home to you, but I don't know if teacher is where that aligns with. I also have been a coach here for a long period of time, and in my downtime, I also serve as the PA announcer at the United States Air Force Academy, where I serve for multiple athletic programs, including women's basketball and men's wrestling. If you've ever been to a football game here at CA Foster on a Friday night, you might have heard the phrases, chain gang, move those sticks, because that's a gladiator! Or... You can light the scoreboard and give him six, because that's a gladiator! <laughs> and all in all, I can look around at my life right now, and it's pretty cool, especially when I get to look out at all of you and remember what it was like being in your shoes. 
And I remember just sitting in my sitting in my chair, being completely upset. Now, before you guys start looking at me the way you're looking at me right now, because I know you guys are like, I can't wait to get out of here. I hope he doesn't speak too long. It feels like I'm in class still. But I was upset because, see, my day of graduation was the same day as the Colorado High School State Track and Field Championships. And it is a meet that a few of our seniors have competed at this past weekend. If you're a senior who has competed at State, please stand. <laughs> guys, thank you for allowing me to coach you guys this year. This was a meet that I had put on my goals from the beginning of the school year. It was a meet that I literally told my mom that if I had qualified for, she was going to have to wait until college to watch me graduate because I fell in love with this sport as a freshman in high school. This sport saved my life, and it was my last chance to get a scholarship to go to college. And it was a meet that I failed to qualify for. So I sat in my chair completely devastated. Now, don't get me wrong. I was incredibly happy to have graduated, relieved, really. But it still hurt to not have gotten to that goal. Now, from what you guys have heard in the glowing introduction that Dr. Bidding gave me, the cheers that these students have given me, and what I have told you, you're probably thinking, well, he's a great athlete. You know, he was also voted best dancer in his senior class alongside Molly DeBrell. And he seems to be a very good educator, so his future must have been very laid out for him. He must have had it all together. I sat and graduated with a glowing and resounding 1.9 GPA. So as I've gotten to coach great student athletes, for me, the student part of student athlete was silent. And while I was sitting there, I thought it was all good because I graduated, it was cool, until I found out that in order to compete at the NCAA Division I level in 2008, you had to have graduated with a 2.0 GPA, which delayed my career by a year. I'm telling you all this because even though this is where you guys see me now, being able to give this speech to you all, this is not how it started for me. Some of you guys are sitting here and you have everything planned out. You have every piece of your life laid out in front of you. And some of you guys are sitting and thinking just like me, wondering, I don't know what I'm going to do next. But I can tell you, as an anxious, unknowing, afraid 18-year-old, I turned out okay. And you will too. You just have to do as cliche as it sounds, you do your best. And while I think of this journey, there are a few lessons that I've learned along the way that I hope will help you on your journey. The first one is be where your feet are, but don't be afraid of where your feet will take you. My journey has taken me from Wyfield, Colorado to Pine Bluff, Arkansas, back to Wyfield, Colorado, and so many places in between. Trust your gut, take advantage of the opportunities, and don't be afraid of where your feet will take you. The second one is give yourself grace. This is going to be your first time doing a lot of things. You guys are gonna be first time adults. So it's gonna be first time holding down full time jobs. So that way when y'all start complaining about, oh, I've worked for 12 hours, your parents are not gonna have sympathy for you when you have to pay your bills for the first time by yourself, your parents won't have too much sympathy for you. But give yourself grace. You will fail at things. And it's okay to fail, it's just not okay to give up. Pick yourself up. And when we say giving self, giving grace, that's not about sympathy. We give grace out of love. Give that love to yourself in those hard moments in those moments where life makes you feel like everything is going to break you down. Give yourself grace, because this is your first time. You will figure it out. 
I'm still trying to figure it out. So I know you guys will too. The third one is don't let your circumstances become your personality. With everything that happens to you, it can turn you into a different kind of person than what you are right now. Some of you guys have heard me say, don't change unless it's for the better. Don't let the circumstances of life turn you into a person that you don't want to be. It will try its best. Life will try its best to do that to you. Continue to be the great people that you guys have been for four years. Continue to allow yourself the grace of growth. You guys will make it and you guys will be fine. And even in those times of darkness, you keep pushing. Those circumstances will change. My mom used to tell me an old poem, life for me has been no crystal stair. And I used to remember that in all of my hard times. And now looking at you guys, I can understand it even more. I've been in those dark spaces. But now looking at you guys, it's so bright. Those circumstances do change. The fourth one is be kind. In the world we live in now, it's hard. People struggle with just being kind. Just looking at somebody and just saying, hey, how are you doing? Or holding the door open for somebody. Work hard to be kind people. Because people will remember how you made them feel. Way more than they remember what you do or what you've had. And then last but not least, enjoy the experience. That's an old cliche my dad used to tell me before. Big games, track meets, graduation. He would just look at me and say, enjoy the experience. And it took me until I got this job teaching here to understand what that meant. Because like I told you guys, I sat in my graduation upset. My mom was happy, but I was upset. And if I could go back, I would allow myself to be where my feet were. I was thinking about everything but what was in front of me. And what is in front of you guys is so great. You guys have worked so hard to get here. You've been through pandemics. You've been through distance learning. You've been through so many things. You've earned this moment. Everything else in the future tomorrow will come. Enjoy this moment right here. Feel all of these emotions. Cry when you win, cry when you lose, dance when you hear music that makes you wanna dance, laugh when you find something funny, hug those around you, take the time out to just go, you know what, life is good. Because the moments where I would wake up in the morning and look at the ceiling, and they, trust me, there were a few, where I go, I really don't wanna go to work today. Or I really don't feel like teaching today. I'd walk in, one of you guys would come in during lunch or during a passing period. Hey, Miller, I'm so happy to see you today. Are you telling me a big accomplishment? Or talk to me about something that you needed? And I would walk away and go, that's why I had to come to work today. You guys have made my life an experience. And I thank you for it. You guys are about to go and conquer the world and do some great, great things. And like... Mr. Brown said, which is very hard to go after your speech, by the way. You guys are from Wyfield, the field as we used to call it when I was coming up. This place is special. This place is unique. As you see, I'm on a two-week vacation here. Don't forget what this place has brought. Don't forget what this place has given you. But also don't forget what you have added to this place because you guys have added so much. You guys have brought a different culture that we haven't seen in a long time. You guys have led in ways that we've asked and dreamed of young people leading. And now we get to give you to the world and watch you do it the same way. I'll tell you, I'm a proud Tennessee born kid, but when I was in college, when people asked me where I was from, I didn't say Colorado Springs, Colorado. I said I was from Wyfield, Colorado. I was from the field because this is its own unique spot in the world. When you look around at this community, C.A. Foster is packed with people for this moment. And you will not go many places in this city and find this. Remember, you are gladiators forever. You have earned the distinction of Wyfield High School alumni. I am so proud of you all. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your experience. Now, you guys know how I normally close out assemblies, and you know I'm about to be corny. So let's all rise. Y'all owe me one more GLADS chant before y'all go. Come on. Stand up. Yeah, go ahead and groan. Y'all know y'all owe me this. 
Loud and proud, so that way everybody in the district knows that you're graduating today. Are y'all ready? That don't sound like it. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Congratulations, Glads. Go conquer the world. Thank you very much, Mr. Miller. And on behalf of the class of 2023, Demetrius would like to present you with a gift as a token of our appreciation. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Class of 2023, as I bring our speeches to a close today, you're almost there. I wanna share with you an analogy that might seem a little bit strange at first, though given our recent weather, perhaps not so strange at all. I wanna to talk to you about what we can learn from the humble duck. Now you may wonder what can a duck possibly teach us about our journey through education and life, but there's three things I want you to take away today. First, ducks are known for their adaptability. They can effortlessly navigate through various environments, whether it's gliding on serene lakes, flying through the sky, diving into deep waters, or even waddling across muddy riverbanks. Similarly, through your years of education, you've encountered numerous challenges and changes, new subjects, demanding exams, distance learning, COVID, unfamiliar social situations, but like ducks, you've adapted and persevered. You've learned to spread your wings and embrace change. Remember that the ability to adapt is crucial as you venture away from Widefield High School and into the uncharted waters of your future endeavors. Secondly, ducks are social animals that thrive in communities. They form bonds, fly in formation, and look out for one another. In your academic journey, you have formed friendships, worked in teams, and collaborated on projects. There's no community quite like Widefield. You have supported and encouraged one another just like ducks do. And as you move to the next chapter of your lives, remember the strength that comes from unity. Together you can achieve great things and make a positive impact on the world. Continue to foster strong connections and be compassionate leaders who lift others up. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, let's talk about resilience. Have you ever observed a duck gracefully gliding across a water surface? On the outside, it appears calm and serene, but beneath the water, its legs paddle tirelessly, propelling it forward. That was me yesterday while we were trying to decide where to have graduation. As graduates, you faced your fair share of setbacks and obstacles. However, like the persistent duck, you've remained determined and resilient, and you've learned to rise above challenges. Keep pushing forward. Strive for excellence. Remember that it's not the number of times we fall that defines us. It's our ability to rise and to keep going. And as you embark on new journeys, be it pursuing higher education, entering the workforce, joining the armed services, or venturing into the unknown, carry the spirit of the duck with you, adapt to change, build strong communities, and exhibit unwavering resilience. Class of 23, I'm gonna use these last moments to say thank you. Thank you for giving me the honor of being your principal. From my first day at Widefield High School, you have made me feel welcomed into this family, and for that, I am truly grateful. Over the past two years, I have watched you as scholars, artists, athletes, musicians, and craftsmen. But even more importantly, I've been endlessly impressed with your kind hearts, your character, and your resilience. Parents and families, thank you for entrusting me with these amazing people. As you sit here today, watching them transition from high school into their future, I'm sure you are filled with so many emotions. But let me reassure you that the skills and character that these graduates have learned from you at home, combined with the lessons that they've learned here at Widefield High School, have set them up for a very successful future. Graduates, it is so clear looking out at the audience today that you have incredible support from all of your loved ones. They've been here to support you through the good days, the rough days, 
And I want you to take a moment right now to look up in the stands, find your supporters, and give them a wave of thanks. Class of 2023, I couldn't be more proud of you and your accomplishments. Today may mark the end of high school, but is the beginning of the next adventure. You are about to join the ranks of Widefield High School alumni. Over the last 64 years, there have been over 22,000 graduates, some of them on the stage right now and many more in the audience at this time. We are very proud of Widefield High School. So if you are an alumni of Widefield High School, please stand. Seniors, congratulations on being part of this great legacy and joining these great folks. I'd also like to recognize our current and former Widefield School District employees. If you are a current or former District 3 employee, please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, some facts and figures as we close this out. We have 221 seniors in the gradu graduating class of 2023 today. And here are some quick facts for you. There are 139 students enrolling in a two or four year university or technical school. 20 are going into service with a branch of our United States military. And 58 are entering the workforce. Monday morning, guys. Here are a few more statistics. 191 of our graduates have been at Widefield High School all four years of their high school career. 161 of them have been together since junior high. Of those 161, 99 come from Sproul, 88 from Watson, and four from Janatel. The most impressive number is this. Seniors, if you have been in the district since kindergarten, please stand and be recognized. There are 89 graduates today that have been in our district since kindergarten in 2010. That's all 17 years of their education. You can be seated. 30 of those seniors started us with us in preschool. This class has also amassed a great amount of money in scholarships, grants, endowments, and funds. Over $7 million, in fact. Way to go, class of 2023. We are so proud of you. Congratulations to each and every one of you. And now, seniors, it is the time you have all been waiting for. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to certify to Mr. Carlos Gonzalez and the boards, members of the Board of Education of Widefield School District 3, that each of these students seated here before you has successfully completed the requirements established for graduation in accordance to board policy and is therefore recommended by the staff and administration of Widefield High School to receive a Widefield High School diploma with all benefits and entitlements accruing thereto. Junior escorts, please prepare the class. Mrs. Felice and Mr. Baldwin, please prepare the diplomas. School board members, please take your positions. Graduates, please stand as you are directed and proceed to the stage to receive your diplomas. Row one, stand and come to the stage, row one. Here we go. Courtney Grace Rickle. Demetrius Michael Brown. Colton Edward Dombrowski. Michaela Rogel Fitzpatrick. Alice Jean Lay. Kelly Lauren Macias. K. 
Kaylin Rose Royal. Abigail Elizabeth Siteka. Kayvon Perry Adu. Kalissa Drew Aldous. Isaiah Jordan Alfaro. Austin Vance Almeida. Ambria Lynn Andrews. Teresa Talalau. Lorelai Alapopo. Angelina Nicole Aragon Alvaron. Natalyn Star Arthur Seuss. Natalie Nicole Babbitt. Pajan Princess Ivana. Lokelani Barnes. Jordan Ann Marie Bastion. Nehemiah Malik Bell. Skylar Hannah Bennett. Jennifer May Billings. Lucas. Amory Joseph Bittner. Jalen Jerome Oka Bloss. Ariel Maria Brizendine Weeks. Bria Shantea Brown. Cambria Dawn Carmody. Cassidy Joe Castle. Mario Antonio Cazares. Viviana Yair Cazares Para. Jean Stewart Chambers. Kara Janae Shamley. Elizabeth Chavez Grijalva. Nathaniel Robert Chick. Brady Eric Christensen. Austin Montgomery Christian. Matthew Scott Clark. Emma Inez Conroy. Cassandra Zan Cooper. Matthew Alexander Creed. Rachel Lynn Cronin. Antonio Xavier Croom. Amory Lynn Custer. Destiny Virginia Rose Daly. Shannon Elizabeth Dale Wilson. Marissa Leanne Darnell. Abigail Renee Davenport. Corey Demetrius Davis Jr. Leonardo Del Carmen. Braden Russell D'Amatos Burros. Ethan Harley De Gregorio. Noah Michael Youngjin Dillon. Brendan Austin Duggan. Destiny Michelle Nicole Earl.
Tanaya Raquel Facey. Aiden Elizabeth Ferrari. Athen Douglas Finch. Viviana Mia Watanabe Fleming. John Joseph Francis Jr. Maya Corinne Frazier. Charles Joseph Frazier. Connor Michael Joseph Freyer Leone. Travis John Galloway Jr. Mackenzie Marie Garrison. Elijah Alexander Gillum. Armando Arthur Gillespie Padilla. Sadie Jean Gobble. Hannah Grace Cosette Goye. Nevaeh Jade Gonzalez Wheaton. Abby Blaze Gower. Jonathan Xavier Green. Elena May Grimes. Angelina Naishara Guzman. Samson Hagos Hailu. Aaron Ray Hall. Ariana Renee Hamilton. Marissa Ann Harbin. Brennan Alexander Hatcher. Owen Michael Higdon. Sophia Nicole Hilby. Todd Christopher Only Lowell Hill. Isaiah Malik Hodges. Jace Ashe Brown Holland. Raven Nicole Howells. Nathaniel James Hoyt. Jenna May Huck. Ethan Thomas Huffman. Molly Jean Jackson. Nevaeh Lachey James. Logan Jens Johnson. Alan Alfred Derby. Peyton Mandis Johnson. Meyer Rowe Johnson. Brendan Renee Jones. Peja Avalon Napuanani Johnson. Devin Alexander Kelly. Bryson Michael Keith. Ian Camden Key. Gabrielle Faith Kempinen. Delaney June Court. Alia Rain Kilgore. Dede Gavine, excuse me, Dede Gavina Elkia Padanu. Crianza Anjo Koalas. 
Isaiah Neve Ladaquente. Takaya Lachey Lane. Noah Kavika Lauhi. Micah Isaiah Kanoa Lau. Caleb Dean Ledford. Bruce Alexander Lavengood. Nixon Savely Leovau. Aurora Chelsea Malan Leahu Vau. Valeria Paola La Queen. Zachary Scott Lawler Jr. Agapi Kalani Talaupu Miley. Anissa Valarma Macias. Isaiah Matthew Martinez. Serenity Estrella Marta. Taya Matani Matapule. Trinity Lee Marucci. Quinn Margaret Mawson. Walker Preston Matthews. Kylie Devine McAuliffe. Samuel Patrick McAfee. Kaylee Rianne McCullough. Devon James McConnell. Richard Jermark McIntyre, Jr. Branton McGill. Abigail Lee Merlot. Javon Valentino McNeil. Jacob Charles Meston. Braden Lee Masit. Cameron Richard Miller. Jack Alexander Millard. Emma Ray Mitchell. Mia Jade Miller. Angel Damian Montez Guzman. Emilio Primo Montano. Skylin Moore. Cadence Sharice Montgomery. Anakith Nash Narayan. Abigail Dawn Morgan. Kavika Sultan Nathan. Isabel Jules Narkowitz. Emma Brooklyn Nitchi. Cassandra Ray Nelson. Taylor Lee Nuttall. Major Andrew Norris. Felix Omandi. CJ Ochoa Jr. Jacob Alexander Para. Samantha Isabel Park. Christian Ray Parsons Bennett. Emily LaRue Parrish. Madison Claire Peel. 
Lily Ann Peacock. Malia Cepede Perez Black. Denzel Takari Pepper. Gianni Anthony Pichardo. Chrisabel Perez Ramos. Thank you very much. James Kai Kitachai. Sherry Jolene Porter. Susana Alicia Ramos Martinez. Dominique Deshae Quintana. Terrell Lynn Ray. Joaquin David Ramirez. Alondra Sophia Riviera. Christopher Xavier Reinert. Alexander Rodriguez II. Zachariah Zane Richardson. Tavon Anthony Rogers. Xavier Kane Robertson. Adriana Yasmin Roman. John William Rogers III. Zachary August Ronsby. Tyrell Gordon Rogers. Nehemiah Malachi Keikoa Salone. Ulysses Romero Enriquez. Alexandria Lita Sanchez. Samantha Sines. Taryn Arissa Schaefer. Miguel Asidro Santos. Gabriel Ramon Segura. Tegan Mackenzie Schuler. Jan Helmi Savia Martinez. Lisbeth Doriana Savia. Abriana Renee Sickles. Kira May Shannon. Jacob David Smith. Samantha Marie Skinner. Kaylee Marie Somerville. Alexander Isaiah Dean Soltero. Hillary Diana Sotomayor. Eric Gustavo Soto Jr. Noel Edward Strickland. Sean Peter Stewart. Benjamin Joseph Tay Coles Haas. Janelle Ann Suter. Sabina May Thompson. Georgie Tedder. Leslie Anae Valtiera. Nadia Jade Valdez. Christopher Kent Walker II. 
Michaela Jordan Vineyard. Vincent Kane Walker. Devon Allen Walker. Tyler Jordan Wheeler. Jason Walter Ward. Elena Faye Williams. Ilea Ariana Dinette White. Hannah Elizabeth Whittacombe. Aaron Matthew Winkler. Clarissa Maya Young. Roderick Isaiah Woods Jr. Madison Lee Zimprick. Let's give this entire class a round of applause. Before we close, I'd like to extend a sincere thank you to the following people. Our graduation team, our senior counselor and class sponsor, Ms. Emily Christensen, Ms. Vicki Abeda for keeping track of all of the logistics to make today happen our junior escorts for their help with the ceremony, our custodial and maintenance crews for setting up our space, our faculty and staff for being here today and supporting our students, our performing arts department for the wonderful musical selections, our school board and all of our distinguished guests, and thank you to all students, parents, relatives, and friends for participating in this great event today. Seniors, please stand. Seniors, on behalf of the faculty and staff of Widefield High School, I commend and congratulate you on your achievements and wish you success in the future. As you graduate as a class, please move your tassel from right to left. Let's say it one more time, gladiators, loud and proud. Wide! Wide! This is, ladies and gentlemen, I present you the Whitefield High School graduated class of 2023. Class of 2023, you are dismissed.